Ozymandias of Egypt, P.B. Shelley. The traveler tells of seeing an imposing statue standing alone in the desert. The commanding words written beside it are from a distant past, and do not carry the weight the great writer of them thought they would have in the future. There is writing in the margin. It's an imperfect sonnet. Traveler found the statue of Ozymandias. Heart that fed is Ozymandias. And then something it in the expression of the face. To Shelley, striking presenting of the folly and futility of something in worldly power. Ozymandias of Egypt. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare. The lone and level sands stretch far away.